What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. This is what in my tech camera bag. Now this bag is pretty new. It got sent out by Manfrotto. Not for specifically for this video. It hasn't been sent out for that reason. Remember the blue backpack? Well we had a few issues with it. It got sent away. Unfortunately that bag is now being discontinued. You can still get it on the internet if you just do a little bit of searching around. This is the latest and greatest from Manfrotto. What's in my tech travel bag? Let's start with the bag. The bag is the Manfrotto Advanced B3. It's currently out of stock on Manfrotto's website but I'm going to find it for you and leave it in the description down below along with everything else we see and talk about in today's video. Let's jump in. Let's see what I keep inside here. Now, there's plenty of pockets on this guy. There's a stringy-ish pocket on this side with, of course, a clasp here for your tripod or any kind of thing you want to put through there and into the pocket and just keep it secure. So, I have in the top pocket here, I keep my wallet. Now, this is the Goyard wallet. It's just a card holder, nice feeling leather, etc. That's the only thing I keep in the top pocket on this side. It's just easy to access when you're going through airport, etc. And the stringy pocket on this side is one of the phones I'm using. This is the iPhone XS Max with the Apple leather case on the back. That's the XS Max that I've been using. So that's me, iOS version of choice. Turn it around to this side, you've got another clasp on this side and if you open this one you can fit in your Osmo Mobile, Osmo Mobile 2, another tripod maybe but I've got nothing in here up to now. In this pocket though what I've got is the Google Pixel 3 XL with the fabric case. So that's the Google Pixel 3 XL. There's going to be a video coming with this guy very soon so make sure you stay tuned for that one. But that's my Android version of choice. Now spin it around, nothing on the front, just a nice calm fiber effect here, my Frotto logo and then it's quite protected for what's inside the front. So unzip it either side, peeling the front open as you can see, me 2013 Retina MacBook Pro. This thing's my workhorse, as you all know if you've seen videos from me in the past. And then coming in a little bit further in is this guy. This is the new 11 inch iPad Pro all screen and of course the smart folio case. So there's that. Nothing else in there but nice deep pockets for your laptop and of course your tablet of choice. On top there's another pocket right along here. So if we open that up you've got pocket on the top here, if we unzip that. The only thing I keep in this pocket at the very, very top is my Apple AirPods in the silicone case. You may have seen these before if you've watched some of the videos, but Apple AirPods never leave home without these guys. Nothing else in that pocket. Jumping further in is my overhead earphones of choice. So opening the package out, as you can see, these are the Sony WH-1000 Mark II. These are absolutely superb noise cancelling headphones for when you've got screaming babies on the airplane. These are awesome guys, noise cancelling headphones. Probably the best sounding headphones I've probably heard and owned to be honest. And of course the, the carrying case just makes it that much better. They're nice and protected in the case. So let's carry on, there's more stuff in here. This right here in the drawstring bag is by Anchor. This right here is my small 13,000 milliamp hour battery bank this thing is absolutely superb you've got the fast charging capabilities on the top micro usb to charge it and of course you've got the button on the side to see how much power you've got left in it before you need to charge this back up again and then in the top i've got the keys to the vxr and of course this right here is a tile sport this is always on the keys just in case i can never find them at least i can just sound it and i'll be able to find them wherever they are but there's that, there's nothing else in the top. Now, you're probably all thinking, well, how is this a camera bag? Well, if you pull these straps either side and you look right here, there is actually a foldable piece right here. So there we go. Right dead center is where the camera sits with its 10 to 18 lens on. However, I am recording this video right now 
otherwise the camera would be here. In this part, the GoPro suction mount for the car, as obviously I'm recording a couple of car videos, so that's in there. In this pocket right here is GoPro's brand new Hero 7 with the lanyard and silicone case on it. This thing is absolutely awesome guys, I can't recommend the Hero 7 enough. The Hero 7's case, housing, whatever you want to call it, that's what I keep there because obviously I like to travel with the, the silicone case on it. This right here is a Spuds microfiber cleaning cloth. You just pull this out, give your lens a wipe, give your phone a wipe, whatever needs a wipe. You just use this little Spuds microfiber cleaning cloth. It's got a little thing for your keys right here if you need to clip it on something. But I just like to keep it in the bottom pocket down there just in case it's needed. In this side right here, I've got a selection of hard drives just in case I need them to back up photos, video files, etc. That's what I keep in there. On this side, I've got the trusty Sony RX100 Mark IV. This thing comes everywhere as well. This was the vlogging camera of choice a long time ago. I feel like I haven't used this an awful lot and I feel like I need to get back into it, but this also stays in the bag. And then in this pocket right here, it's the stuff that I use for the outside of the cars. It's the Hero Session 5. If I need to mount it so much sooner mount this on the car than the Hero 7. And use the Hero 7 for the inside shots. And then in the bottom piece right here, I keep the Canon 24-70 L lens. This thing goes absolutely everywhere with me. It is normally on the camera, but for these type of videos, I need that wide angle view so I can get everything into shot. So there's that. That's just in the bag for when it's needed, which is quite a lot. This is soon to change. Not so much the camera equipment, but what goes actually inside the bag will change and will change quite rapidly and quite quickly within the next couple of months or so. So I'll be sure to bring you an updated video when these things happen. So make sure you stay tuned for them, guys. But that's everything I keep in me camera tech travel bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything listed here, if I can, will be linked in the video in the description down below for you guys to check out and to purchase for yourself. Won't cost you any extra, it's all through my affiliate links. But thanks so much for watching guys. I truly truly appreciate it. If you've enjoyed this, please consider dropping a like. If I've cost you some money, I can only apologize. You know who I'm talking about. But Thanks so much for watching guys, I appreciate it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to browse around the channel, plenty more videos. There's going to be two more on the end card coming up. So yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy guys.